let them go on to another country. But they don't need to be in your country for so long. Just let them pass through. Unless Germany turns around and says, OK, no, nah, we don't want them, really. So you're going to have to hold them until we can decide if we can let any more in. Unless they're having... See, because they might be telling the media and the world one thing and doing something else behind the scenes. Right. If you see what I mean. Like saying, OK, well, no, just just hold them there. Hold them there. There's too many coming now. So you're going to have to take some because we shut our borders almost. We're gonna. So it's like everybody's starting to shut their border. So they can't put them on the bus just to another country, even if they wanted to, because they know that the, the bus is going to get turned back. Almost. Right. I mean, it's it's basically like you, you put them on a bus on one side of your country and then yeah. you take them to the other side of the country. Then they get off the bus and it's like the other country that they're trying to get to will not allow them to enter. So what do you do? Because like, oh, they'll say, oh, we wasted, you know, all that, putting that on the buses and the petrol, driving them through our country to get to your country because we wanted them to come into your country. You shut your borders now. You're telling them, no, we don't want them. But to the world, they're saying, oh, yes, yes, we will help. So is it that? Is that the case? Because they're saying, oh, there's too much bottlenecks now because each country is starting to get wise to the fact that because we're, they're all on the borders of Germany, the refugees are going to start if they can't get in through one country they're going to go and start trying to get into another country so they're all trying to shut their borders or limit however many people come through but it's it's it's, it's like water in it somebody said it's like water if it can't get through one way it's going to try and get through another it, it just has to flow right and it's going to find the opening that's what yeah. water does it's going to find yeah. an opening but one part of this is there is a i would hope this is not a eternal amount of people coming through it won't be no. everlasting there is a finite no. number here and it's yeah. going to stop at some time i yeah, would I think. think so yeah i think so definitely because obviously i think that because because they say that they think it's about four million um refugees that have left syria places like syria sort of thing so i'm thinking okay but okay look at germany if germany says they're taking over eight hundred thousand, you might as well just call it over a million because i'm sure that's what it'll probably end up being so that's they've taken the most out of all the EU countries. So I ain't being funny. Even a country such as Germany will probably have to close their border at one point, at some point soon, whether it's next year or whenever, and say, okay, no more for now, at least for now. Let us absorb the ones that we've got. If, if God forbid, there's no more wars in other countries, which causes more people to keep coming. Because then it's like all the, it's all the people that were on one side of the world are going to try and come over to the other side. I mean, I can understand why certain governments are, are worried about it. I can, but at this moment in time, you can't worry so much about that. You can only just think about how can we help on the humanitarian side, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. it's really, that is the biggest problem you got at the moment. Worry about the economy later, the economics of it. You have to worry about that later. Because oh. right now, people, too many people are dying and suffering, and it's not right. And see, but in the way government works, they mm. don't think that way nine times out of ten if it's a natural disaster here in the united states they do that in most cases they go through and they say we have to make sure that the initial problem is solved we need to make sure that these people have housing we need to make sure that they are fed and they have water all that happens and then they go back and say and they do appropriate money during the process so i'm not going to say there isn't some money coming from somewhere but in this instance these countries haven't come together to formulate a plan. Right. They're just basically saying what they won't do and what they don't yeah. want to do. That's it. It's all no, no, no. Hello? No, 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 no. They're coming. So you need to start saying, yes, yes, yes. We will help as much as we can. Obviously, you know, you can't lay on houses for everybody and you can't. But what you can do, as in food, water, a little bit of shelter, I, even if you put them on the buses so that they're not sitting literally in the street i know it, it's not a lot but it's something but but please they're spending more money and time putting armed guards and weaponry on the border lines to keep these people out you shouldn't be spending your money to treat them like a like an enemy is the point i'm making you, if you're going to spend the money you need to spend it on on helping them as i say with the food because it's it's all the aid companies that, who obviously they can't even cope either but they're doing their best they can who are giving the food and the water and the fruit and whatever trying to give them clothes trying to give them shoes because a lot of them ain't they've lost their shoes you know it's the aid people that are trying to do that and obviously countries like 
over here in the UK and around the world that are giving clothes and food and sending money, donations to help. But where's the money going? Because nobody knows at the moment. We're not really seeing it being put to good use. Because all these company, countries, I should say, like um, um, Hungary and Serbia, they're spending their money and time trying to... They've, they've made the rule that they, if, if anyone comes in... We talked about this earlier. If you come in now, you're going to get arrested and they're going to treat you like a criminal and put you through the court to charge you with a criminal offence. And it's, that's, that's the, the backward <laughs> thing about this to me. If you're going to spend this money to build fences, to incarcerate people, and then you're going to have to pay to feed them and pay to Hello? house them, why don't you just figure out a way to get together and Hello. decide, okay, um, how can we handle this as a crisis? And let's, you know, settle this from you know let's start from the beginning handling it you, yeah, you can't settle it until you stop what's happening in that country and that's not going to happen anytime soon either exactly and i must say this as well the one thing that i've noticed is that they keep saying they're going to treat them like criminals now so it's going to be a criminal offense literally to cross over a border from one country to another and when you get there i.e places like hungary they're going to put you in jail now believe it because they said it and that's what they started doing in my mind i'm thinking okay hold on a second if these people are committing criminal acts and crimes when they're passing through, I stress it, passing through your country, then okay, I see why you want to arrest them and treat it like a crime and put, you know treat them like a criminal because they've done something criminal. But I'm sorry, stepping from one side from one country into another should not be a criminal act. That's ridiculous. Well, but border I mean, there, no border. there are borders, and I'll play devil's advocate. There are borders, <laughs> and the reason there are borders is so that hey, my country is separate from your country, my land is separate from your land, and I do understand that process. I right. understand the fact that if we had open borders around the world a lot of this wouldn't happen because if you freely could move back and forth and if you could work in Mexico or work in the United States and there was a better job and you know if you live in Mexico uh -huh. and a better job exactly. in the United States you cross the border maybe people wouldn't sneak across the border and maybe the economy may be better in Mexico I don't know but I understand yeah. the process of borders but wow. when you have whether they're natural disasters or whether you have any type of need that basically means there needs to be a plan to do something because this is a special circumstance. Right, right. And you should find a way to help those people because we are part of the problem as far as their country is concerned. We really are. Uh, thank you very much. I mean, I we are part of the problem, and you mentioned it, it, it earlier. Yes. I'm sorry, people, but look, we're going to go there because this is the Ask of Arnie show, and you know I don't play. Right. And if i got something on my mind, we're saying it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, look. I, look, you can see I'm just getting so stressed about it. <laughs> I, I, I was uh, practically speechless looking at the news thinking, are they for real? They are really going to start treating people like criminals just because they step from one border over into another country and they're going to lock them up for that and they're going to take the time to put them through court and say, okay, you're a criminal because... And then what they're going to do, deport them back to the country? I mean, come on now. But, the, but everything you're talking about costs money. If you're going to incarcerate them, it's money. If you're going to deport them, it's money. If you're going to build a fence, it's money. <laughs> so you're investing all this money because, again, the politicians like to say we're doing something. So we're investing all this money to look like we're solving a problem that we are creating mm -hmm. by spending this money this way. Mm. All of this, again, it goes back to coming up with a plan. We don't live in a logical universe, oh, and so God. they think that, hey, we're just going to close the border. Donald Trump thinks he's just going to build a 50,000 beautiful uh, foot wall or, uh, you know, all the stupidity. You pay for it because we know that man's got money. But he's not going to pay spend his money doing it. He never uh, spends yeah, his money. So. He, he doesn't would. spend his money unless he's making money, okay? Uh, uh, I had a feeling that he didn't want to do that. No. I'm sure. But he was at first, he was saying he was going to make, let me say that again, he was going to make <laughs> Mexico pay for it. Come oh, on. Really? You really think they're going to put their hand in their pocket for that? Come on now. Please. That's, uh, no, it's not happening. <laughs> Link 23. Okay, well, I, was, I have to say it. Officials fear that the Syrian refugees pose a threat to the U.S. Now, Mr. Trumpy, <laughs> as we're going to call him, he is the one, and I'm sure he's one of many people who does believe the thing. Because what did he say about Mexican people? That he wants to send them all back 
to Mexico. I mean, come on now. Mm. What kind of what kind of a, a, a way to incite people against you, really, isn't it? Come well, on now. You know, I, I being of the the African race, mm. you know, I have had quote supremacist supremacist and people that hate quote black people and hate anybody of color mm-hmm. and they hate Jewish people, you know, the clan type people. Mm-hmm. They have this oh well we'll just send you back to Africa. Well I wasn't born in Africa. I am a descendant of Africa, just like many of these people are descendants of of Ireland and descendants of European countries. You know, so I'm I'm a descendant of the continent that brought earth and life to the world, first of all. And so I'm proud of that fact, but I was born in Oklahoma, very far from Africa. <laughs> exactly. You know these people sometimes you have to just look at them and be like, oh, please, you need to just stay your ass over there. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> But I mean and that really is the, the thought process that I have. But but think about it. There are people who are in government who uh-huh. may not be as overt uh-huh. about it, but they have the same mentality. It's uh-huh. like you know, they don't need me anymore as a slave labor to create this country, and so they have no use for me anymore. That's basically what, it's, what it is. Oh, you know, yeah. and it's just like when they got the people from China to come over and build railroads, and they got the people that came in from Ireland. It's so all kinds of things we'll be talking about, but, oh, yeah. but yeah. hey. That's a whole new show? They need to combine <laughs> as governments and stop wasting money to keep That's people right. out and help yeah. these people. That's right, they're wasting resources on foolishness, and then they're saying, oh, we can't cope anymore. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, because you've spent money that you could have been put to much better use, and you've spent it doing that, and you just think, oh, please, you know, again, you're missing the point. They're missing the point. <laughs> I'm just like, help, people. You say you you say you say want to do the, uh, the good thing, a good thing. Well, then chucking them in jail and treating them the way you've been treating them is not a good thing. Think about it. Would you like someone to treat you like that? I mean, um, Link 21, Kevo's we are about to take a short break but i just want to say this because there is solidarity with the refugees i said this earlier again we do have it over here in the uk and in europe as as a whole there is solidarity because a couple of weeks ago um uh, there was a march along the streets of central london obviously you know we have a new labor leader now of the opposition government party mr jeremy corbyn so he took to the streets along with tens of thousands of other uk citizens in protest at the way the refugees have been treated sort of thing. So it just goes to show you that we do show solidarity and we are trying to say to our government, and I'm hoping that obviously other um, citizens around the EU and Europe are saying the same thing, we don't, we want to help them any way we can help them because it's a humanitarian crisis, you know, and I just think sometimes people don't seem to understand that and the question we are going to ask going into break with this very apt song, <laughs> Mr. Edwin Starr, war, oh, yes, because I, you know, I have a bee in my bonnet about it again today. People, we will be right back on the other side after this. <laughs> Hi, this is Avani, UK soul queen diva, and you're tuned into the Ask Avani show on the Get Global Network. Hey, hey, people, good afternoon and welcome back. You are tuned into the Ask Avani Show. This is So Metro Radio. You are in the right place to be on a Saturday afternoon. You know where it's at. Oh, if you have just joined us, where you been? I'll say it again. Where have you been? Today's show topic is mm, serious, but we are definitely still talking about it. Oh, I'm going to remind you again. Migrants' crisis. Is there no more compassion in the Western world to help people in need? And are the EU and UK governments only saying what they think will make them look good? People, I know what you're thinking. Yes, some of them are doing that. Okay, Rose. You know we have a lot to say on this topic today, don't we? <laughs> and we, we've <laughs> said a lot, and there's still a lot to say. That's what there is mean. still a lot to say. People, we know you're out there. We're loving the interaction on Facebook, on Twitter. Come and join us again. Let's comment, share, post what you think about the articles that we are sharing with you. Because when I was doing my research, as you know, I like to find things to share with you. <gasps> I just could not believe some of the things I was seeing. And it was really starting to annoy me and upset me. So, yeah, today, you know where it's at. I ask around the show, come and find me. Because, wow, wow, wow. I have to say, K-Rose, this next link... 
it goes to show that people, as we were saying earlier, are wanting to donate to the refugees and help them in as many ways as possible because this is a serious crisis and it's